Hello my fellow <laughs> Hello my fellow mermaids and thank you for tuning in. What I have in store for you guys is drum roll from the queen herself. Beyonce, Queen Bee, numero uno. We got some Ivy Park. I've always had my eye on this line and I've never actually tried any of the pieces. Finally got a hold of some and I was like, you know what? Let's give it a shot, see what it's about because Beyonce's, I have high hopes, I won't lie. It's beautiful, it is so her, the entire line, if you've seen it. It's a lot of black and white and then now I've seen a lot more colors. It just suits her, it's very athleisure. I would say, if you haven't looked into it at all, that's kind of primarily where they go towards, a lot more casual wear. They do have a bit of higher performance pieces but I won't say high performance in that like you're a really high level athlete and you want something that's gonna hold up against anything that's definitely more towards the Nikes, the Under Armour, the Lululemons. This is just more for your casual gym goer. There is some performance pieces but then they also are all about you want to look good when you work out. Red Cindy to brunch. You're looking good. Single ladies. All the single ladies all the I don't remember anything else from the dance. Okay, I wanted to do the most kind of cliche looking sports bra and leggings for you guys so you kind of could see the fit compared to a Nike, a Lululemon, and Adidas and then if you're buying online or if it's worth it and then if you guys would want I could definitely get a few more pieces and do an entire lookbook of a bit more of the athleisure items so comment below if you want that but we're just we're just reviewing sports bra and leggings that's kind of the staple. Okay, here's the tag for the sports bra, but all it says is medium support bra, sweat wicking, breathable, quick dry. And I will put the links to both these items down below though, so you can get them if you're interested. I got a medium in this because I usually wear a medium in Nike, and so I thought that would be a good comparison. And I'd say it's a very similar fit to a medium Nike, so it'd be almost in between a six and eight, more so it's towards a six Lululemon if you want to know the sizing. Now, I love this bra, first of all, I do like the logo. It kind of reminds me of an Adidas look with black and white in the writing right there. I was a little skeptical at first how it's kind of cut off. You'll see. And it's got a little bit of a scoop, but not too much. I was worried it would be quite blocky, but I found it very flattering. These bands, I think, are my favorite part. These are so stretchy and so comfortable. And because they're thicker, they do actually provide quite a bit of support. There's no padding in here. And there's no way to add padding. So keep in mind, it is double layered on both sides, but no, no padding. I do like the band. I would compare it to a Nike Pro short, but a bit thicker. So it's kind of like if you took two Nike Pro shorts bands and pasted them together, but it was smooth on both sides. It's got this mesh in the back, which is very small, a little ooh, small detail. Just very, very little amount, not too much, which is always nice, it is breathable. This material, what would I compare it to? It would be kind of on board with the Luxe Dream from Lululemon, but not as compressed, does that make sense? Like. I feel the material is a bit more spread out, not quite as much of it, versus the Luxe Stream is a bit more condensed. Does that make any sense whatsoever? This is just silk screened on, which it looks good, but keep in mind anytime with silk screen over time, especially if you get the wrong size, it will crack. So I'd say this is true to size. It's a nice medium support, breathable, cute bra for $46. I got it on sale though, so I don't remember if it's $46 on sale or $46 and I got it more on sale. And all the branding is pretty much like this. So these are the low rise sculpted leggings. I got, so they got inner contour short to smooth and support quick drying, breathable four way stretch, strip, four way stretch. Ugh, I butchered that. Okay, so yeah, full length, extra small. I got low rise. Are the low rise ones? which is a bit different, I know, but I thought these are kind of comparable to a Nike or an Adidas more so than some of the other ones. So that's why I wanted to compare these. These remind me very similar to a pair of Adidas leggings I've reviewed in the past. So you can go check that out for another video. And the extra small I'd say is bang on, pretty much extra small Nike, which would be a four Lululemon, um, also extra small Adidas. So they fit true to size, but keep in mind because they are low rise, they fit differently. They do fit low rise. I thought it was a flattering low rise. So sometimes there's low rise that's so low, think like late 90s, early 2000s, where it just sits at that uncomfortable spot that no matter, you can have like next to no muffin top and it will somehow show it. This I thought was just a bit kind of higher, but it's still low rise. So keep in mind, they are squat proof, but because they're low rise, I was very scared. So I squat there and it, I didn't pop out, but I was kind of like, ah, uh, slowly thinking about it the entire time. 
So if you're doing this for high intensity where you're squatting a lot, I would not wear these, maybe an upper body day. Definitely not something you're just bending over a lot, personally. I do love the band. Um, the band reminds me very much of Nike's or Adidas's bands that you see, just kind of the cliche ones with the logo. Now the back kind of, I don't know, because they said they have that contour feeling, and at first I kind of felt like I had like underwear on underneath, like extra, it just felt like bunched there. So it just took me a second to get used to, but that's I think how the contour is, so maybe to highlight the behind, let me know if you think it does that. It has the contour seaming here, and I did feel very secure in these. Not super compressed, but a kind of in-between hug sen sensation versus compressed. Is that how we go? So yeah, I just thought they're obviously sweat wigging. I thought they were a good length. I did like them. They are just kind of a cliche leggings. Like, what is the material again? Not be on par with Nike's highest performance or Lululemon. I would say this is just a bit below, so maybe some of Nike's more affordable items and leggings. That would be what I compare it to. Away from fire. <laughs> Shocking. 52% nylon, 36% polyester, 12% elstein. So Lululemon would be almost like 90% nylon. Um, so this one does have polyester and kind of the polyester is what cheapens it also as well. But honestly, I think these are really cute leggings. I really like this set together. The cool thing about this line is I think it's just diverse in a lot of senses. It's kind of similar to Adidas's model that they have some really high fashion pieces that are going to be expensive, but they then have some mid-range because they're not quite high performance so it's just kind of modest price leggings so they'd be in the 80 range not the above 100 range there is a few pieces though that are really expensive but then you can find a few pieces that are totally affordable i think the bra is pretty competitive with the lululemon and nike just not as quite as high performance and so the price kind of reflects that it is a bit more fashionable so maybe that's where they make up but overall i like the line line like what can you not like about Beyonce? Everything she does is Beyonce. That's what you compare everything good to. It's like zero to Beyonce. That's that's a scale of life. I, yeah, it's good. True to size, but keep in mind a few of the pieces, I did do a lot of research and the sizing isn't universal on all the pieces. I found a few girls did com comment that some of the leggings just didn't fit true to size and they bought them, they stretched out. So I definitely Google the reviews if you're interested in specific pairs. But for this, at least, these were true to size. Some people might say these leggings fit smaller, but that's because they are low rise. If you wanted them a bit high rise and not as second skin compression, just size up one time. But keep in mind, if you do that, they might be a little loose around the waist. So that could end bad low rise, loose waist. And yeah, that's my thought on the Ivy Park sports bra and leggings. If you have any specific comments about either of those, comment down below. I'd be happy to answer them for you. If any of you guys have tried any of the pieces from Ivy Park, also let us know so we get some others because I only was able to review all of this. But if you guys would like a full lookbook, a bit more of the athleisure pieces from the line, also let me know. I'm just telling you guys to do all the commenting, so hit me up, slide in my DMs. By my DMs, I'm in my comments. Or you can follow me on Instagram, slide in DMs there. I'll see you there, either way. Oh, and because someone's gonna ask, this sweater is amazing. I reviewed it in my Nike haul. So if you want questions about that, check that out, because I know someone will. And if that's you, I got you. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Like always, follow my friends. Have a great day.